Okay, Luz, welcome back. My camera's shaking. Ryan Littler. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. I do apologize um, if you hear a sort of motorized noise in the background, but I am filming in the middle of a nor'easter here in New Jersey, and my neighbors have their snowblowers and they're out doing, you know, whatever. I need to film because I have not been filming. I don't need anything to get in the way of that. So I'm gonna speak loudly and we're gonna hope that my phone does not pick up the snowblowers which I don't think it will. He's been out there for a minute. He should be done soon. <laughs> so today we have a very sophisticated preppy try on haul featuring dresses and items from Fashion to Figure. Y'all know I am a big fan of Fashion to Figure and that I have been working with them for a while. They just really bring a level of sophistication to the plus size fashion industry that I think has been missing for years. And also, there's never anything stale about fashion to figure. They know how to highlight trends, but not make things look too trendy, if that makes sense. And that's kind of like the lane that I live in. Like, I am not against trends, but I don't want to be in trends from head to toe either. I love, you know, classic styles that stand the test of time mixed in with, you know, a crazy trendy piece of the season. So with that being said, before we get into this try on haul, make sure that you subscribe, click the notification bell so that you don't miss a video from me. And let's get into this video. Okay, so this first dress is the Tessa button front sweater dress. I cannot tell you guys how soft and amazing this dress feels on. It is a very thin knitted dress, which I love. And the weight of it is in between heavy and like a medium. Like this dress is not thin, but it's also not so heavy to the point where you're uncomfortable. So I love the soft sort of caramel color and the gold buttons just do it for me. If you know me, gold is my favorite metal. <laughs> and this dress is just all of the things. So let's talk about the length. Y'all, he is really going in with this snowblower. So this is a sort of pencil length dress. Great if you need something to wear to the office that is not bland and dry. <laughs> That's one thing you're not gonna get from fashion to figure is, you know, bland fashion. It is just really one of those pieces that is classic. I could definitely see this being worn for years to come. Like it just has that vibe. Pair it with, you know, your favorite bag, whether it's a high bag or even a low bag, like you're gonna look expensive and sophisticated if you style this right, a hundred percent. I love that, the, that it does not actually function, you know, like the buttons aren't functional. I like that for this dress because it is just an easy throw on. Being plus sized, when things button in the front, whether it's a knit or something that's a bit more, um, you know, rigid of a fabric, sometimes we get that pulling and that's not really cute. <laughs> so I love that I don't have to worry about that with this dress and that, you know, I can just put it on. So you guys let me know what you think of this dress. Would you wear it? Do you love it? I also would love this in black. Whew. I would love this in black. I think that that would just be like the true sophisticated um, sweater dress. So you guys let me know what you think and we'll get into the next look. Okay, so let's talk about these next two pieces that I have uh, paired together. So this is the Sasha tweed skirt. I have not owned a set, a tweed set. I do have a cropped sort of like bolero tweed jacket that I'm obsessed with and I've worn um, on my Instagram <laughs> but I am just really obsessed with the fit and the length of this skirt. I am really happy to have something like this. Being a plus size woman um, obviously we've come such a far way from not being able to access certain styles and wear you know just 
certain designs in general and to have something like this be provided by fashion to figure is amazing so let's talk about the skirt um it has these pearl buttons and the metal that's used on the skirt with you know to pair with the buttons is silver am i angry about that no would i prefer gold yes but the great thing about fashion is that you can customize pieces to, you know, fit your liking. So if at some point I wanted to, I could, you know, choose a pearl or even a bronzed, oh my gosh, even if I put like a bronzed Chanel button, you know, on this, like to die. <laughs> so I paired it with this mesh off the shoulder top because I hadn't owned anything like this yet. Y'all know I love mesh everything. And the fact that this sleeve, you guys, I don't think you guys can really see how really gorgeous these sleeves are. And I'm just obsessed. Now I decided to pair this skirt separately because um, I want to show the versatility of how you can wear this set, the Sasha set. Um, obviously, we could put the top on with this and it would be such a vibe, 100%. Um, but this is definitely a fashion girl fit. And I wanted to kind of show you how you could wear this in everyday life. Um, this is really cropped. <laughs> I got this in a two. In a two? Yes, I got the top in a two and I got the skirt in a three. I probably could have gotten away with the top in a three just because I am busty. And y'all gonna see later when we put on the fit that goes with this top. <laughs> but um, you guys let me know what you think about this first look and how I've styled it. Uh, earrings are simple. It's a simple gold pearl drop earring. I didn't wanna put anything on my neck per se because um it's all about this earring and it's all about you know the design in this top you 100 percent could put on like a pearl necklace you know something teardrop with pearl studs just to kind of you know elevate the look and make it a bit more sophisticated but throwing on a black blazer um or even you know a color blazer for you know for that extra pop at the office i think is you know something we can definitely do and pull off and that i can get i'm going to get so much wear out of this look so you guys let me know what you think of this look of this skirt and how i've paired it with this off the shoulder top and we'll get into the next look okay Luz, we are back with another sweater dress and this one is a bit more sexy it's a bit more brunch with the girls it's a bit more of a sophisticated fashion girl vibe first thing you'll notice is a deep v <laughs> this obviously is a layerable piece so if you are uncomfortable with this much exposure you definitely could pair a black button up under this for a more sophisticated where to work kind of look i love the length and i'm obsessed with the black trim and faux pocket details i think that this dress is a winner and I just feel really chic, sophisticated, and sexy in this. I would pair this with um, a black tote and definitely some knee boots. I think that this is a dress that you can layer on and pile on and it will remain, you know, being the focal piece. Definitely a black overcoat, preferably something maxi length to really, you know, give you some movement when you're you're walking. Um, maybe even something uh, velvet over this is just gonna give you such a vibe. So you guys let me know what you think of this dress and I will be back with the next look. Okay, Luz, welcome back. So let's get into the Anaya cutout knit bodysuit. This bodysuit has arm, I'm sorry, thumb holes, which I love and think is super sexy and really calls attention to my nails. But also, I love the cutout. Now, I get that turtlenecks are supposed to keep you warm, 
I can't lie to you guys, oftentimes I feel constricted and like I'm being suffocated in turtlenecks. I don't know what it is, but it's the truth. <laughs> but this particular one obviously is super open. I do have on a full bra with this, which is fantastic. I don't have to worry about pulling up a bra or um, just kind of feeling, even though my bras that I get from uh, Cacique are very supportive mentally, I just always am tugging at my bra. I don't know what it is, but I'm just, it's a mental thing. <laughs> and I've paired this bodysuit with a um, faux leather midi skirt that has this dangerously sexy split up the left thigh. And y'all, this is a fit. Like this is a vibe and this is good to go. I have on my same earrings because I kind of feel like they work with a high neck. Y'all let me know if you think otherwise. <laughs> and yeah, this look is just really sexy, very easy. You guys let me know what you think and we'll get into the next look. This is true, Joy Louise, especially my years through college, all black, good to go. Okay guys. So now we're gonna get a little bit casual with the Harper Velour Mesh Hem Hoodie. Y'all, this hoodie is so cute. I love that it's cropped, but also that it kind of has shape to it. Being a curvy girl, hoodies can really go left and really be a, a way of, of making the body look shapeless, not with this. Um, I'm thinking about getting the matching pants, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be a little bit too early 2000s for me, <laughs> but I love um, that I was able to pair this black hoodie with a pair of ripped straight leg denim from Fashion to Figure. Um, I love that this is all buttons up the front and y'all, the stretch in these jeans is impeccable and they fit so beautifully. I don't feel constricted. I'm also not popping out of the rips on these jeans, which is major for me being a curvy girl. I don't know y'all, I'm not trying to come for anybody, but looking like a busted can of biscuits when you wear denim is not the look. It just is not. So anytime that I wear ripped denim, I always tend to size up because I don't want that look. So that being said, y'all let me know what you think of this fit. Let me know if you think I should get the matching velour pants. They're really cute. Um, and with a pair of black sneakers, you know what? I already seen the fit, I'm getting the black pants. <laughs> so yeah, y'all let me know if you own this. Um, if you don't, let me show y'all the hoodie because she's, she's giving. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Joy Louise from the block. Gotta work on that. All right, y'all, let's get into the next look. Okay, let's talk about the Colette Rhinestone Fringe Sweater. Now, these are more pearls than rhinestones, but this sweater is a must have. Uh, if you like pearls but want to wear them in a more modern and fun way like ftf does like no other like no other this sweater is adorable this can be dressed up and dressed down you guys the weight of this sweater is amazing it's soft it's comfortable i'm obsessed like legit obsessed with this sweater uh I love that it's cropped, but again, not voluminous. Like this hits my curves um, right at the hip. I mean, right at the waist. And I love that. Like, I don't have to worry about tucking it in to give myself, you know, get back to my shape. Like this is set and good to go. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I would probably pair this with my tweed skirt to be very honest, for a more um, 
fashion girl look. I don't love it with these jeans, but for the sake of not dragging this video out, um, I did throw it on with this denim. You could 100% pull this off, but I kind of feel like we need to add more black to this. So I would definitely maybe wear a darker denim and just, you know, maybe my hair up, a leather jacket over, um, just a really fun and casual look outside of dressing it up with the tweed and, you know, maybe some black pumps, those opaque tights again, and just really making that fun and flirty. Oh, the wind. <laughs> but you guys, yeah, you let me know what you think of this sweater. I'm gonna make sure that I give you guys a close-up look. This is definitely one of those dry clean only pieces. <sighs> Love her. Love her. And the pearls are consistent all the way around. I know you guys understand what I mean when I say I hate when brands only, you know, customize or bedazzle or add, you know, detail to the front and the back is just like plain Jane and unfinished. I hate that. But FTF is not doing that with this sweater. Let's get into the next look. Okay, Luz, so we're back. And we are in the tweed top <laughs> that goes with the skirt. Now, this obviously is such a look, but like I said earlier in the video, I wanted to show you a different way of wearing these pieces because obviously these are styled together on the site and are such a bomb fashion girl moment. But, you know, some of us like more versatility in our clothes and, you know, may want some style ideas of how to put things together. So I paired this with a high rise sort of ripped straight leg jean. And I think I may need to get the back of these taken in so that they fit a little better. I will say one thing about these in comparison to other FTF jeans that I've tried, these are a bit more rigid. Meaning my, my butt feels a little smushed. <laughs> and I definitely could have sized up in this top. There is absolutely no stretch in this top. Um, I kind of knew that with the bottom and I should have done the same with the top, but I played myself. It's fine. I can always try to see if I can take it to a tailor to have it let out, whatever. But you guys let me know what you think about this look. I definitely would pull in a booty, maybe a nice chain belt. Definitely have to be silver to complement these, unless like I mentioned with the skirt before, we change the buttons, which I'm down for. But like some sort of chain belt to make it a more fashion girl moment. I don't like, this is not a layerable piece, meaning I can't layer something under this. It is super cropped. I am gonna see if I can actually get the um, top in a larger size. If I can, this will be all set because I can customize it to fit how I want it to. Uh, my bra is showing a little bit. I'm fine with that um, because it's black and it's a fashion girl moment. Like it's, it's fun, it's carefree and it's supposed to be sexy. So I have no, you know, no issues or problems with that. There is a zipper up the back. Oh, you guys can see. I love that exposed zipper, just like um, the one on the skirt. And this is fun, definitely a keeper. Um, I think the, this is close to selling out. I think there's some of the skirt left, but the top, obviously, because you get more wearability. I wouldn't even say that because you can wear this in so many ways. Turtleneck um, with a really cute uh, black and white graphic tee or a red graphic tee, whatever you wanted to, because it's such a neutral base. Both of these pieces are super wearable in multiple ways. So I recommend getting either one of them. You guys, if you've made it this far, y'all are the real MVPs. Um, I'm happy to be back in, you know, 
creative mode and to be able to connect with you guys if you are not following me on instagram please be sure that you do because i will be styling these pieces yes you guys are going to see bags accessories um whatever it is that you need to see of me really putting these looks together over the coming weeks um even if these items sell out and you guys aren't able to get them anymore i'm sure you can find similar pieces to kind of make these looks happen but yes thank you so much for making it to the end of this video and if you have not already make sure that you subscribe click the notification bell so that you don't miss a try on haul from me and i'll see you in the next one